Hi guys, it's Erfa here and in today's video I will show you guys how to make that really cool effect that you just saw in the intro. The only plugins you will have to have for this tutorial is the Universe plugins and the Suffer plugins. Link in the description to a tutorial and a download link as usual. But quick before the video starts, I just want to say one thing about the RPEC. The announcement will be tomorrow the 18th of March, so look out for a video tomorrow where I will be announcing the winners of the RPEC. Now we can get right into the tutorial. So the first step is actually to sync the clip with the music as you do as usual. How to do that is pr just press on the clip, find the first frame you see the shot of impact. The shot of impact is where the red dots appear. So this is the first frame they appear. Press M on your keyboard that will put down the marker. Then you go to the music and then press on the music and mark the beat you want the kill to happen on. So for me it's right here so I will just press M on my keyboard right there. Then you just need to turn on this magnet tool and it should be really easy for you to just slip it in so all these three markers are in a straight line. Now you can fill out the space that's left here and it should be perfectly good. What we are gonna do now, we are gonna make some time mapping to the clip. Press on the clip, press Ctrl R and then on the shot of impact, so where the red dots appear, press on this arrow, press add speed point, then you go 30 frames to the left, so 1, 30. This is 30, so press on the arrow again and add the speed point. Then about in the middle, it don't need to be exact, press on the arrow again and may add the speed point. What you're gonna do now, zoom in a bit, make the first gap right here, to 50% and the second gap right here to 200%. What we're gonna do now, we need to make sure that the last speed point is in a straight line with these three markers. So to do that, we are only play around with the middle speed point. So we'll drag it to the left until we see that the last speed point is in a straight line with the markers. So now we see it's in a straight line. And now we can watch it through and see that it looks good. So. I think it looks pretty good. If you want, you can add some slow mo right here, but because this is in a Zone Wars match, the slow mo comes automatically when the kill happens. So I won't, will not add any slow mo in this clip. Now we can close out of the read time speed. What you're gonna do now is to find the shot of impact again, so where the red dots appear. So it's right here, press on the clip and press Ctrl B, that will split the clip right there. And what you're gonna do now is go to Open Effect and search up uni.rgb and this should pop up, uni.rgb separation. Drag it and drop it on this clip. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna go onto here and the first frame you see the effect, now you won't see anything, but the last frame of this clip, key from the radius, the angle and the duration, then you go 20 frames to the left, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 20, right here and key from everything again in the inspect in the effect tab. What you're gonna do now, we're gonna go back to the last frame of this clip where the keyframe is and we're gonna drag the radius how much we feel like. So I think this looks pretty good. Make the angle to negative 40% use, I think looks pretty good. And the distribution drag all the way to 100. And because we keyframe it this right here, everything should be zero and you should not see this. And it will be really laggy, so I'm not even gonna try to watch what we have made. But it should look really good, but it's really like that's the only problem. What you're gonna do now, this only if you want, you can go to the, to the clip after the effect, so when the kill already happened, and go back to here and search up S underscore shake. Drag it and drop it on this. And what you're gonna do, go to effect, upload the preset so you guys can just copy it real quick. And yeah, so basically, here I loaded up. You can pause the video, make it slow motion, do whatever you want but just copy everything. There's basically a Y shake with a bit yellow in it. This is the important part to get that yellow in the channels. That's basically everything you need to copy. What you're gonna now, you're gonna go to fast frame you see the effect, keyframe the amplitude and go 15 frames to the right. So one and keyframe the amplitude again and drag it all the way to zero. And now we should have made a little like this. 
sort of shaky. If you want, this is not, you don't have to, you can add a little bit of glue. Some people like some, to add some glue. So that's your shop, S underscore glow. Drag it and drop it. And pr go to effect again, press on glow. And usually I like uh, pink glows really much. That's my favorite glow. Make the brightness to about two, you can drag it up to three if you want. But I will leave it at 2.5, keyframe the brightness, the first frame, and then again go 20 frames to the right. So one, two, keyframe the first frame, and then you need to go 15 frames to the right. So one, two. So here, exactly 15 frames, keyframe it again, and drag the brightness all the way to zero. Basically, that is for is it for the video hope you guys enjoyed the video and drop a comment if you have any tutorial ideas and and just quick want to say again that the announcement for the rpec will be tomorrow the 18th of march and that's basically it so see you in the next video